Let's look at some pressures inside the glomerulus. So in this screen you see on the left a diagram of the glomerular capillary and of Bowman's capsule. And on the right we've taken one little piece of that capillary and moved it out so that we can look at the pressures. So let's look at some of the pressures in Bowman's capsule. So in the glomerular capillary we have a pressure that's pushing fluid out and that pressure is the pressure in the glomerular capillary. And that pressure is about 55 millimeters of mercury. And that pressure of course is the blood pressure. That's the pressure inside the capillary. And we have another pressure that's operating in the capillary and that of course is the colloid osmotic pressure. And that's the pressure due to the presence of albumin inside the capillary. There's no albumin outside the capillary inside Bowman's capsule. No, no albumin there. And that pressure of course is drawing fluid back into the glomerular capillary. And the colloid osmotic pressure is um, in the neighborhood of 30 millimeters of mercury. And now we have one more pressure to deal with, and that's the pressure that's inside the bubble, that's inside the Bowman's capsule. So that's the pressure in here. And that pressure is a pressure that's going to be pushing fluid back up into the glomerular capillary, the pressure in Bowman capsule. And that pressure is about 15 millimeters of mercury. So these are the three pressures that operate in this system. Now the pressure in Bowman's capsule, this pressure can't really be changed. In a normal nephron that pressure is constant. And of course the colloid osmotic pressure that's due to the presence of albumin also is a constant. That really can't be changed. So the one pressure that can be changed is this one. The hydrostatic pressure inside the glomerular capillary. Now let's figure out what the total pressure operating on the system is. So the total pressure is going to be equal to the pressure inside the capillary, the hydrostatic pressure inside the capillary, and that's pushing out, so we'll just make that a positive number. And there's also going to be a pressure from the colloid osmotic pressure, and that's operating in the opposite direction, so we'll make that a minus 30 millimeters. And then of course there's a pressure inside Bowman's capsule that's pushing the fluid back in, and that's about 15 millimeters of mercury. And when we add all of these up, we get a total pressure of about 10 millimeters of mercury, and that pressure is pushing fluid out of the uh, glomerular capillary and into the urinary space. That's the space inside the bubble. So that total pressure is about 10 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so that's it. Very simple explanation of what's going on inside a Bowman's capsule.